All right, Stacey, we're back. So, because we didn't do letters to Stacey yesterday, because I was just so that spin thing. <laughs> just yell. I, I really think I was yelling at him for probably like more like nine hours. And I mean, by yelling at him, I mean just randomly going on there every you know time I was by the computer and just putting, "Oh, you're unbelievable! I can't believe you! How dare you say that? I'm so offended." <laughs> And I didn't even take—I didn't even finish taking my acting class. I got the online uh, acting class that I signed up for. Uh, that's good. Anyway, girl. So Rami's training is going great, and I guess these service dog people are very interested in this methodology. So we're totally jumping in there. We're totally going in there. Feet first, gonna just blow it up, and it really is different than anything. I mean, I don't know of anybody. I'm sure there are other people doing it. I'm sure there are. I'm sure these pointer guys are doing it. Um, I would think. There's a, there's a guy on um, uh, YouTube that does... I, I was showing you that one time. He was, he was out in the field. He was training these pointers. He was putting them on um, the top of like a kitchen garbage can to teach him to remain stationary which won't work for these because they're too big. But anyway, so that's what's going on, girl. And um, Remy is a big time star. I think you're gonna see he's made huge progress. I, I swear to God, just since yesterday. Uh, I, every morning at 5.30, I train him in bumpers. I have my little routine, I get up, I take the other dogs running. And then I start... Take a note. Uh, I get, tell some interesting stories. Stacy's like the storyline is boring. Let's get some exciting characters. Uh, what about the what about the plenty of fish thing, Stace? Did you like that? Because we're thinking of. I want to start doing that again on Fridays. We're gonna have that episode because, you know, summer's being, you know, lulled back into thinking the baby's father is any kind of you know anyone that's even worthy of her attention. So we've got to. Deflect, deflect, deflect. I guess she just avoids the, yeah. Stacy will tell you, you are the company you keep. You are the company you keep. Believe me, we'll go find all my ex-boyfriends. I told Summer. We'll get on mugshots.com and find out which prison they're incarcerated. <laughs> we'll go right there. You know. Yeah, you know. oh, we'll send them gift cards and, you know, ask them if they have any friends that need pen pals. We'll get pen pals for all our friends. <laughs> I know, this guy's a major loser. Major loser. Oh, there was a guy on Judge Judy yesterday, too. And Judge Judy was saying, well, basically, you're saying he's a loser. So what do you want from me? You know, you picked him. If he's a loser, because this woman's going into a PowerPoint presentation about what a loser this guy is. So Judge Judy's getting the timeline. What does she want from Judge Judy then? Oh, she's trying to sue him for half the rent because he's so irresponsible and such a terrible person that he can't even be trusted to pay rent. And so she made him sign an agreement. He, you know, reneged on it. And, you know, but so Judge Judy's just calmly getting the whole chronology, the timeline, and then finds out after all this happened, she still had another kid with this guy. And she said, why would you choose someone who has no ability to financially support a child? And so then this chick says, he's a good dad, even though he isn't a good dad financially. And Judge Judy did not... There, there's no such thing. There is no such thing as he's a good dad, just not a good dad financially. Because am I wrong, Stace? That was the American way. The father was the... at the helm, bringing home the bacon, and you know, until the 60s, until us chicks got a little power. You know, but I mean, there's no way since the 60s that went away. We didn't get rid of racism, racism since the 60s. And, and you're going to tell me suddenly we got rid of, you know, real men financially support their children above and beyond what, you know, they think that they can do because that's what men do. Am I wrong, Stacey? Oh, Stacey's going to be all on board with this one. 
Anyway, no, I mean, you know, maybe I'm wrong. I also tell Summer, if you go out on a date with some guy, uh, you don't split the bill. My dad, that, that, um... Split the bill with this chick? No, that show in the morning. Let's forget what it's called. Oh, second oh, date. Oh, yeah, date. okay, tell us about that one. This guy freaking made the girl, ask the girl at the end of the date if she would pay for the gas. Oh, and she, and so $50 she, in gas. What is this guy driving, a Hummer? So then, yeah, so then when she, uh, yeah, I can she tell you, lady, this guy's driving a Hummer. Uh, you got a surprise coming, lady. So and I can tell you what, you're not going to like it. <laughs> so when she found out he was on the phone, she tried to say, oh, well, that she gave was it just to him? a test. He goes, that was just a test. It's something my dad did to my mom. <laughs> Just making some stuff up. He said this on the radio. But she didn't give him the money, right? She gave him the money for gas. Yeah. He's like, oh, okay, we can either go out on a second date or I'll give you the money back. Or I can never see you again because you my money back? who can't just afford gas? Don't I go mean, on a second date. I, yeah. <laughs> Try to blame it on his parents. Oh, that's what my dad. What's the test? If the, te if uh, I'd the say, test, why didn't you give me my money back? Yeah, I'd say, but let me check this dude out. I mean, let me check out this dad of yours. Let yeah. me see what kind of man you got here going on. You know, yeah, exactly. You know, when this guy's got on plaid pants and a striped shirt and black socks. That's funny. We need to do some pranks or something. We need to come up with some ideas. We need to, you know, I don't know. I think the dog training thing's been done to death. <laughs> We've just done that to death. I mean... Do pranks. We were doing pranks for a while. Oh my God! And when Courtney and Dakota were here on Saturday, uh, I had already set up the thing that there was deer out there. Or we were like walking around, and you know, they're they're kind of under the umbrella of fear of Cali doing something. So um, we're standing over there by the pond. We're at the end of the walk, and they go, "Oh my God! Let's go get out of here!" I was like, "What? What?" Just to show you how I am. Instead of leaving like them, I immediately turned and went in the direction. I didn't know what it was. Well, they saw the deer statue and they thought it was deer and they were like, oh my God, we got to get out of here. You know, I think in their mind, Callie went at this thing and it wasn't happily ever after. They scared me though. Oh, I got pranked by my own deer. I was like, where, what, what? I went right towards it though. Whatever, I, I didn't know what they were talking about. And then I stopped. And they didn't say, because now all the bushes are dying, so. Uh, anyway, all right, girl, we're going out there right now to do um, videos, and I think you're going to be amazed with what we've got Remy doing, and um, come up with some new, I don't know, I mean, we can't even do, because we could do, like, phone pranks, I do the funny, I, I say the funniest stuff to Siri, oh my God, if anything ever happens to me, or if I'm ever accused of being insane, if they ever are able, if they're able to do, yeah, if they're ever able, you know, to get Siri and find out the questions I asked, that would be such funny episodes, and I think they do have that on YouTube, too, but they've programmed her. You can cuss Siri out, totally, and she'll say things like, I'm sorry you feel that way, and oh, I figured, or like, if you say you're a jerk or whatever, oh, I figured, and she, it says it like that, doesn't it, Summer? We should do a whole show about it. We can't because we don't have any way to record unless we can figure out how to record from the webcam yeah, and download some that. software. Uh, and do you don't even have any room on the computer. I can oh, download. Yeah, yeah. And, and listen, Stace, I've still got all kinds of retro videos. If you're wondering why things seem to appear randomly, like the puppies are still here and stuff, some of that stuff is either, some of it I think is actually before Christmas. I'm running four memory cards. Zero disk space, Zero and I can just like, if I can get like, delete like a big file, then I can get a couple smaller files on there. So I'm just sort of doing that by attrition. So that's why on the videos, the puppies are suddenly appearing again and stuff. So anyway, girl, all right, so we're gonna go out there uh, right now and hopefully find the remote because that was Greg's collar. If it got lost, I guess I could probably get Greg to send us another one. I'd have to be a lot nicer, though. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. No, I'd have to make it even worse than that. Uh, no, yeah, no. Do you still hate me? Oh, no, he's all into yoga, so yeah, he'd go to that. I started going to yoga, now I'm not all crazy like I was. <laughs> he wouldn't like me if I was too nice to him, though. Everybody, in a way, is sort of kind of always glad handing him and stuff. I'm so far outside of that box. Yeah. All right, girl, we're going to do videos. Bye, girl.